Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Eddie Hill. I said I was going to review Earthrise Cliff Jumper last night, but I fell asleep. I was so tired last night, I didn't feel like doing a review. So we're doing him today. First and foremost, take a quick look at the packaging. There we got Transformers Earthrise. Transformers Generations. Takara Tomy. An artwork picture of our boy, Cliff Jumper. Now we're going to take a look at the back. There we got his picture of Cliff Jumper in his robot mode. Which is cool. In his hard form mode, which is cool. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. And Cliff Jumper rolls. Like rolling things should, we got his viewfinder here, which is his weapon. We're not going to put it on the car. But now, for the most important thing, comparisons. So here he is next to a way past cliff jumper. And this is the Fall of Cybertron cliff jumper. Not a bad comparison. Here he is next to IDW Cliff Jumper. And that's comparison. And here he is next to a car with a similar similar design to Cliff Jumper. They look quite similar in a way, but not completely. Because this is tail not tailgate, but a uh, wind charger. And just because, here he is with his buddy, Bumblebee. That's all there is to say for comparisons. Now let's get down to transformation. First and foremost, we're going to untab. Oh, wait. Wait, there's something I should do before transformation. Way before We're going to get Cliff Jumper in his hydrofoil mode. We're going to untab this. Fold it out like so. Plug the peg in here. Come on. Eh. Peg's a bit of a stubborn thing to peg in. There we got that pegged in. Can disconnect these. Play an important part. Connect the rifles. And we're going to how to peg these puppies in, huh? I admit it's a bit more trickier than I thought. I guess because of the legs, they won't plug in right. And I can't figure that one out for the life of me. If you know how to plug the guns into the hydrofoil mo mode, then please... Leave me a comment, because I cannot figure that out. For the life of me. Come on. But there we got the car in its hydrofoil mode. And since I don't know how to attach the guns in the hydrofoil mo mode... I can do this. Plug it up here. That's one way to do it. And now, let's get down to transformation itself. We're going to unpeg this. Unpeg this top section. 
and we're gonna unpeg this part, which is the back end. And we're gonna accordion this up like so. Flip this back to form the foot. Second verse, just like the first. Rotate, flip, rotate, and rotate the legs. Open up the windshield and flip down this and rotate arms around. And finally, because I don't like the hole in the back, we're going to cover up Cliff Jumper's back. Because if I don't, he's Lucy Goosey. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Lucy Goosey. Oh, come on. Pain in the neck. Peg. Maybe it's better if I flip it around completely. And there we go. Cliff Jumper in his robot mode. Really good and love the paint on the eyes. I don't know if you can make it out, but he's got a silver face and his eyes are really good painted. It's a blur because this thing is blurred for some, some reason. That's better. Way better. Now you can get more clearly at his face. Maybe it is better with that unique light on. Maybe. I just figured that one out, why it was so bright. That unique light makes it easier to see the videos. <laughs> That's why some of my videos are really bright. And now we're going to get Clip Jumper his weapon. We're going to have him armed with his viewfinder. For a reference to G1, he is a good, accurate robot mode to the original G1. Cliff Jumper. But I didn't see him use the viewfinder after season one. So, yeah. After somewhere in season one of G1. But it's good he has it. Because it's a unique tool. Plus. Plus the hydrofoil mode they threw in is so uh, a good representation of that one episode from the New York episode where they're gliding across the water. And now we're going to do another comparison review because I've talked enough about the figure. Because <laughs> in Comparison is a very important part of my reviewing status. So we're going to compare him next to Fall Cybertron Cliff Jumper after I've transformed him. Sorry, uh, I'm going to have to pause my TV. Sorry about that. <laughs> I had my TV on this show and it went to uh, back in mid-video, so please do forgive that. Sometimes it does that on its own. 
But now we're getting down to the robot mode. And we're going to get him in his bot mode with his gun. I will think about reviewing my Fall Cybertron Cliff Jumper pretty soon. One of these days I'm going to try to review Fall Cybertron Cliff Jumper. I just haven't gotten around to reviewing him yet. But here he is next to Earthrise Cliff Jumper. And yes, he is missing a hand. And the answer is, I, I lost his hand. So all I could do is like give him a blade arm thing. So, yeah. So that's it for that comparison. Now we're going to compare him next to IDW Cliff Jumper. Which he is uh, a bit smaller than our standard eyes. Cliff Jumper. Yeah, half the size of Earthrise Cliff Jumper. And now we'll compare him next to his fellow Autobot, Power of the Primes Wind Charger. Because they're both red and they both are on the same Autobot team. Okay, they're both on the Autobot team. So here he is next to Autobot Windcharger. They don't look bad together. And here he is next to his fellow Autobot Bumblebee. And they are a good representation that looks great together. And I paid about... 20 bucks for this. I spent more than I would have liked on this guy. And he's not even a deluxe scale. But I get it. Hasbro is trying to make more money. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out.